Hello, Team Sagittarius. It's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements of Sagittarius. And also, for those of you who are new, I might extend this video. So if you resonate with whatever I'm saying, you can find the video in the description box below. I'll only do it if Spirit guides me to for further spiritual advice, okay? Sag, I hope you're all doing well and you're safe wherever you are on planet Earth. Thank you for all your support and love with me and this channel. It's greatly appreciated. So let's get into your reading here. So Sag, I feel that you're kind of like, there's this crossroads energy that I'm picking up on intuitively, okay? Oh, and keep in mind for those of you who are new, for those of you who are new, this is a timeless reading. This could be past, present, or future, okay? But it will not resonate with every Sagittarius on planet Earth. So what I'm getting here, when it comes to this connection, you're, you're holding off, okay? So you're trying to figure out what to do. I feel like for some of you, you just want to move it forward, okay? And it's because there's no energy, there's no energy, there's no movement when it comes to this connection, okay? So you're either thinking of like, what action should I take or what is it that I need to say? Because we have throat chakra here, the fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel, and we have the third chakra with Archangel Shamwell. So this is about you and you trying to figure out what do I need to communicate with this person? What do I need to say? in order to make some kind of movement, okay? And you're also thinking, what action do I need to take? Because you're you're recognizing that this is a caring connection. You're recognizing that this is um, an emotional connection, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, you could think this person is a soulmate. And But the thing here is that you're not making any movement towards it at all. So I'm feeling that some of you, because your person could possibly not be making movement either is what I'm getting. It's kind of just like up in the air right now. Okay, Sag? So some of you are actually thinking of walking away because you're not getting any movement. So some of you are like, okay, you know what? Maybe this is the end. Maybe I'm not going to have to have, you know, closure. Maybe we shouldn't try to make this better. Maybe we shouldn't try to um move this connection forward okay so some of you are feeling that you're at some type of a loss is what i'm getting and you know this is the thing here it when it comes to you and what you're doing in your personal life or professional life i should say there's some kind of healing that needs to take place and some of you haven't opened the door yet to that okay so it's kind of like you're thinking to yourself, no, things are good, you know, in my, you know, professional realm or it's good at work, whatever. But it's like, I feel that spirit is trying to guide you to do something different. And it has to do with you opening this door through personal healing. And also some of you are meeting new people. So this has to do with community and also your social circle. So this could be a community or social circle that you will be involved in or you're, you're going to be new people, okay? Because this is what's coming in for you. So those of you who are kind of, I feel like, stuck, okay? And you know what the thing is? It's so interesting how people think like they just have these stereotypes of Sagittarius. Oh, all Sagittarius is make great money. That is not true, okay? It's true that Sagittarius is very fortunate. I have to say that because they got Jupiter on their side and Jupiter is huge. So a very strong influence. However, it's like you got to open the key to that. You, you have to activate that. Okay. And so what I'm getting here is that some of you are being, things are not moving forward in your romantic aspect, Sag, and it has a lot to do with you. I just heard being an influencer. Some of you are going to go into and also some type of healing. 
and it has to do with community, okay? So it has to do with some type of a social circle. That's what spirit is pushing you towards, okay? And it doesn't have to be necessarily a spiritual circle or organization. It could also be um, like anything, like a membership or a group, um, something like that, okay? So for those of you, um, I mean, for the person you're dealing with, Oh, this certificate. <laughs> Let's see this. Yeah, crossroads. I'm telling you, this person as is in, at a crossroads when it comes to you. I feel like this person keeps, um, what is it called? Overthinking what move to take. So they're in their mind space. They keep overthinking about what, like, move to take. This could also be someone who needs, um your forgiveness for some of you is what I'm just picked up on. They need your forgiveness. Um, you make them happy. I mean, they see you as the sun regardless, okay? Um, but this person here, I feel that this has a lot to do with moving this connection forward, okay? Because we got happy family here. And I'm taking this as the four of wands, okay? This is about connection. This is about stability together. This is about emotional fulfillment. And um, I feel like this person is overthinking what move to take or what to tell you. So they could actually have gone quiet on you. It's kind of, you know what, I'm, what energy I'm picking up on? Okay, so we need to take this to the next level. Both of you are thinking that. Okay, but there's no movement. Sagittarius, do you want to go on vacation? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I just heard that. You want to get away. You would, you would love to get away right now on an island somewhere. On a beach is what I just heard. I love that too. Okay, so I just heard on a deserted island. <laughs> okay, Sag, let's see. The person you're dealing with, how are they feeling? Spirit, what energies? Tap. All right. Ooh. Uh, very interesting. A lot of fire energy here, huh? Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. All right. Let me get one more for Sage's person. Thank you. Whew. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, this is what's happening here. This person, I feel like they keep coming in and out. I don't feel like, it's like, this is what I want to say. This person wants to be straightforward with you. They want to be honest with you. And they are, I feel like they are doing so. But what ends up happening with this person is that every time they come through with some sort of communication, which is straightforward. And some of you might be like, oh, wow, like this person's really into me. Like they're talking about this and that, whatever. It's like they do it. They say whatever they have to say. And for some of you, it's like the sweetest things. Or it's like, wow, this person's into me. Or wow, I feel like it's finally moving. Like we're, we're going to get like, we're going to get to the place where we want to be at, right? And then they pull their energy back as soon as they do that. They sabotage you, okay? I'm not picking up on, you know, deception or anything like that. This person is deceiving themselves. So there's a big difference. I don't feel like this person is deceiving you. I feel like they come through now with honesty, straightforwardness, but it's very minimal. 
And the minute they do that, they freak out and then they try to like, oh, they're like, okay, I said that. That was too much for me. And then they pull their energy back. That's what I'm getting with this. Because this person, it's like this connection is so strong for them. It's overwhelming is what I'm hearing. Okay. This connection overwhelms them. Like I said, this person sees you, views you as an emotional connection. It's mutual. It's not like it's one-sided. Okay, this could be twin flame soulmate energy here. But there is definitely a very strong connection here. And this person, that's what they want. But the, when it comes to offering you something solid, that's where they get, they get, um, how should I say it? They backtrack. That's what I just heard. They backtrack. So what I feel here is this person is scared, okay? I feel that they're also scared about what they communicate with you. So it's like they finally get the strength to say something, okay? For some of you, it, they could also be just, it could just be slipping out of their mouth. And you're thinking, wow, okay, we're moving towards something solid, maybe taking our connection to the next level. And then all of a sudden it's like, <gasps> you know, because this person, let me tell you something. This person is action oriented. Okay. They're very passionate about this connection. And so this person could be confusing you. It's like, you want them to tell you how they feel. You want them to always be, you know, straightforward and emotionally expressive. But that's not the way this person operates. I feel like they're looking at you with, you know, very, um, a lot of passion here. There's a lot of fire. There could be a lot of fire in this person's chart. Okay, fire energy. Um, but what I'm getting here is that, yeah, spirit is like tickling my nose here. Um this person wants to come back. So if they left, they do want to come back. That is on their mind, okay? Um, so they want to return back to the way things were moving organically, Sag, but I have to say, for you, that's too slow, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you're losing interest with this person. You're losing interest, okay? Let's be honest. I'm going to keep it real, I feel like you're losing interest because you're like, okay, it's taking too much. It's too much, you know, and like I feel your energy where you're like, you know what, I'm just going to focus on my healing. I'm just going to focus on being better and getting back to my happiness. Okay, so let's see. For my Sagittarius what energies this is another deck okay guys I do different decks for different for each person so let's see what energy Sagin okay all right Ooh. I just heard I don't want to babysit anyone. Okay. All right. So what's going on here is that you're having issues with working with this person. I feel like you're being very understanding, Sag, which you normally are. <laughs> That's like the highest forms of Sag, being very understanding, okay? The Sag and me gets it. So this is about you wanting to build with this person, and this person does want to build with you, but however, I feel, I just heard they're not cooperating, okay? So they're not cooperating, and it has a lot to do with what they say to you, okay? So it's like, like I said, this person is sabotaging, they're sabotaging this connection. I just want to let you know that. Because there's passion here, there's emotions here, there's deep feelings, you know, all that stuff. But when it comes to movement, it's like... Fast forward movement, it's it's lacking. And here you are, okay? Um, this is about you. That's why it's like you keep, this is what I'm getting. This person, 
like one, like I said in the beginning, they come in, they say something, and then they pull their energy back. And then every time they do that, you're just like, okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm moving on. And you start focusing on something else, okay? I feel that this person has a lot of deep emotions for you. So every time this person comes in with some sort of like sweet gestures or something kind is what I'm getting, is that you open up the door. You open the door, okay? But then it's like it takes so much of your strength and energy with this person. It's like this is what I want to say. Every time they come in, you put your guard down. You're like, okay, it's it's happening. They're going to be, you know, they're they're showing me something. They're telling me this. And but it takes so much of your strength and energy, Sag, to be in this connection, okay? And this has a lot to do also because you just want to balance out things. And also, for some of you, this has to do with a contract you have with this person, okay? Because we got the justice card here. You have a contract with this person, a soul contract, okay? And that's why it's, for some of you, it's so, like, it's becoming too much. It's becoming heavy. It's becoming draining. You feel like you have to, like... It's not really fight for this connection, but it's more like, how should I say this? Spirit, help me out here. Okay, so every time this person like does what they do, they kind of bounce, okay? You, pull, you put your, your guards up. You're like, okay, you block them or, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean block them on your phone. But what I'm getting here is that you put your walls up because you're like, okay, I can't do this. Like you're showing me, you're into me, you're showing me, you know, you got feelings for me. I know they run deep and then you bounce. And this person, and then, then you're like, oh my God, this is taking so much of my energy. Like I feel like a lot of you are just like, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. This is overwhelming. Because you get those... You think it's cute every time this person comes in and says something to you. And then it's like they disappoint you. It's true. They disappoint you, Sag. You feel like, okay, we're finally moving forward or we're taking it to another level. And then, boom, it's like they're gone again. It's like they're they're vanishing like Houdini. You know what I mean? You guys know the magician Houdini? Look it up. <laughs> they're like they're like vanishing. So you're now like you're like I need to like get into balance of myself. I need things balanced. I need things in order and they're not. So, let me see further. I feel like this person wants to come back again. But I don't know, guys. I'm going to extend this reading because this is this is interesting. I'm sure those of you who resonate want to know what this person's going to do. But let's see further their feelings. How do they feel about Sag? Spirit. Okay. This is interesting. All right, guys. So this person... I. There's definitely some type of soulmate energy here, okay? This is a temperance card here. This person, it's like when they come in, they want to rush everything. But then it's like they they want to control this situation. They want to control this connection. I feel like this person is very passionate about you. There's a lot of passion here that's undeniable, okay? Um and there's also a lot of emotions, but there needs to be some type of balance and healing. So this person is emotionally unbalanced is what I'm getting, okay? And also, the thing here is that this person, every time they want to make changes in their life, something happens. So this is about their personal life. This is not has to do with you. What I'm getting is that there's interference. There's conflict 
every time this person wants to like make a change. Okay, so I'm going to see further where this goes. I'm going to go into the extended what action this person is going to take and what you need to do. I'm going to go into spiritual advice and whatever. So those of you who don't want this person, I'm going to also see what's coming in for you. <laughs> so yeah, because some of you are just done with this person. Let me know in the comments who's done. Like you're just like, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. This is throwing me off course. This is throwing, you know, I want to focus on my career. I want to focus on my coins. Um, or someone new, like, I'm done with this, you know. Um, this person, like, this is what I want to say. I feel like the love is here. The feelings are here. The passion is here. But it's fleeting. You know, it's not consistent. I'm going to pull one more card, guys, because let's see. Oh, I got a minute. Spirit, what can you tell us about this connection? Okay. For Sagittarius. Yep. Um... Oh, wow, we got double. You must, some, some of you are definitely dealing with somebody with fire energy, okay? This is the, um, you know, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone who has that in their, in their chart. This is what's happening. This person needs to put their guard down, okay? This has a lot to do with the past with this person. So somebody, this person you're dealing with, Sag, they have their guards up. They're also tired from a situation that they're in, okay? So it's different for all of you. But I feel like this person is watching you. <laughs> this person's watching you, okay? So somehow, some way, they are watching you, and they're. It's like it's interesting. I feel like you both are waiting for each other's moves. Like who's gonna make the move? Like checkmate. Who's making the next move in this connection? But I'm gonna get into this deeper, guys, in the extended. So if you resonated with this, you can follow me there. The in the description box below, you can follow me on Gumroad. Sag, I hope that this has helped you in some way. Let me know how this resonates with you in the comments. I wish you all the best. Peace out.